Before I continue, let me take this opportunity to introduce myself. My name is John Odiambo and this channel is all about having fun with design and manufacturing. I have been in the product design and manufacturing world for over 20 years. Designing and building stuff is not just a career for me but also a hobby. In this channel, I share my fun projects like the laptop holder, the CNC machine build, the Geneva wheel build ETC. Feel free to check out these videos and don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Enjoy! I wanted to get into the e-scooter world mainly because they have taken over the world. Being that I'm already in the design and manufacturing space, both as a service provider and as an educator, this is the perfect opportunity to design and build one. This build will also be used as a challenge to my design and manufacturing trainees. The plan is to begin machining in the summer. For inspiration, I first looked online at the different e-scooters out there. I then settled on a plan and went ahead to develop the 3D CAD models. The plan is to buy a 16 inch wheel kit from Amazon or eBay. The kit should also contain the brake levers, throttle and monitor. I'm still researching on the power and battery requirements. Any suggestions out there? The shocks and all other components will also be acquired prior to the build. The body components will be mainly machined out of aluminum. Let's now explore some of the design features. The handlebar will have a swiveling feature that will allow it to fold via a quick release pin. The entire handle mount can now be pushed backwards to improve storage. A quick release mechanism is also used to lock and unlock this feature. I now have to make sure that all the components clear each other during the turn. I will most likely use a standard 3 quarter inch bolt, maybe a custom nut for the turning pivot joint. The front wheel assembly shock limits have to be sufficient and also to make sure that the components have enough range of motion and can be physically assembled together as intended. I will first search for a completed kickstand. If I cannot obtain one online, I will then build it. The back wheel holder assembly components will be machined first and assembled together before adding their shocks and attaching the entire assembly to the main scooter body. Attention also has to be paid to the range of motion of the entire back wheel assembly. The neck assembly will be attached to the bottom frame using screws as shown. The screws 
scooter seat frame will be attached to the bottom frame as shown. Both the front and back shocks are now added. The scooter will be ready for a test ride once I add the brakes and the electronics. <laughs>